Hey guys, it's Hunter uh, with Get Life Productions, and today I'm going to be showing you how I did the gunshot effect from The Unknown Killer, Season 1, Episode 4. So we are using Adobe Premiere Elements 8, and here is me acting out, getting shot. And first you're going to want to go to Get Media. PC files and folders and what I did is I downloaded something from Detonation Films they have like free effects stock footage and stuff and I got a uh, what's it called decap for like a decapitation effect but I didn't use that but I think this really worked well for it so I'm gonna go to where I first being blown so we'll step forward right there I'm gonna no maybe like a step back so I'm gonna put that in and then you see the white we can get that away but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get the blood to the point which I want it at about at that explosion of the blood point so probably want it to about right there then you're going to cut it and delete that part and then go back to where your actor is being shot and then put it in now what you're gonna want to do is go to edit effects and you're going to want to click on the effect RGB difference key and that's going to take the white away you're probably gonna want to add it twice or three times to get the white away but what I'm gonna do now is shrink it down to the size that my actor is almost like to the size that you would see a blood splatter coming from my head so about that size but you can still see a little white and we want to get it darker like real blood so you're gonna want to go to all your effects and you're gonna want to do shadow highlight until you get it as dark as you want. I like it at about that color, but then you're going to make it darker. So you're going to go to brightness and contrast and apply that effect. And then what you're going to do is go to edit effects and scroll down to brightness and contrast and you're going to want to lower the brightness and like make the contrast like in the middle so it's about that color. I think it looks good like that and then after you have it at the color you're gonna wanna cut it off because it's only gonna show a little bit so at about like right there before it starts coming out again so like right there so you're gonna wanna cut it but then you see that it's squirting up so what you're going to want to do is right click on it and hit rotate 90 degree right and that's going to rotate it so now it's at the angle that my head is at and now you're going to want to move it to where your head is you're going to want to move it over a little bit to where it's going to be blown so then it looks like like that but if you saw it I'll probably put this in slow motion but you can see a white line at the very end of the blood splatter clip did you see that show it to you again to get that light line away what you're gonna want to do is click on it go back to your effects and hit and type in chroma key chroma key should get it away the white line so now if we replay it you'll see that the white line is gone and now for the final effect you're going to want to add in the gunshot sound effect and I went to a lot of different websites trying to find this but you can go to sound bible royalty sound free effects like music effects stuff like that and they just have free sound effects that you can download. 
and I got a shotgun sound effect, even though the gun wasn't a shotgun. But I didn't cock the gun in the video, so you hear the cock, but we don't want it. So what I'm just going to do is take out the cocking noise by doing stepping forward until you hear the real gunshot. So at about like right there. And then just put it directly with when your blood comes out. And then you should be good. And this is what the final clip should look like. Um, thanks for watching and stay in touch with Get a Life Productions. See you next time.